A school board meeting devolved into shouting and threats this week in Tennessee. This is a sign of how contentious this debate over masks in schools has become in part of the country. The school board in Williamson County, Tennessee, voted to approve a temporary mask order for elementary schools. Some parents applauded the decision. Others lashed out at supporters in the parking lot. Some threatened and harassed parents who were wearing masks as they left. Everybody's taking notes, buddy. Keep that little smug. Put it back on. Put your mask on. We know who you are. We know who you are. Keep it calm. No more masks. Keep it calm. Keep it calm. No more masks. We're on these guys' side. They're on our side. No, they're not. They're not on our side. The police are on our side. The police are on our side. Let's calm down. Yes. Calm down. We know who you are. We know who you are. We know who you are. You can leave freely, but we will find you, and we know who you are. You will never be allowed in public again. You will never be allowed. I know who you are. Let him out. 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 Give me a light. Let him in peace. 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 Everyone. Peace. 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 But we know who you are. We know who you are. With me now is the man uh, you saw being harassed in that car, Michael Miller. Uh, Michael, thank you for being here. I've got a preview monitor right over here, uh, and I could see you shaking your head as you were watching that video. What are you thinking as you watch that back? Every time I watch that, I'm terrified. When you're in the moment, I knew it was bad. I called my wife as soon as I got out of there. I called a friend on the way home. I drove the most convoluted way possible home after that. I had no idea how bad it really was until I saw it and someone shared that video with me the next day. Explain what was happening there because I watched the, uh, the meeting was about three hours in Williamson County, uh, the school board meeting. I watched it. It was, it was raucous inside the room. It was nothing like that. How did it escalate? Well, uh, the room, the tensions were definitely high. Before the meeting, I do want to com compliment. We were lined, I lined up there at 2.30 as the fourth person in line. And there were people from both sides lining up because there were 30 speaker spots, each with one minute. So we wanted to get there early. We were peaceful beforehand. People actually, mothers, one of the Mothers for Liberty handed me a, a bottle of water pr prior to the meeting. So we were yeah. actually fairly civil. I bumped knuckles with, it, with a gentleman on the other side. Um, we went in, the meeting inside, the decorum quickly went out of control, it, just kind of a mob mentality. Um, the energy was super high and it was gonna be terse. The, uh, cut, we all had our minute, the board recessed and came back and the board started talking and then there, there are videos of one gentleman who had, had to speak his mind and walked out and then a bunch of people walked out in a very violent uproar. I, I use the word violent in, in terms of loud. Um, it was deafening. None of the videos capture how deafening it was in that room. It was a room with a capacity of 225 people and I'm quite certain we were above that and it was echoey and loud and it intimidating. Yeah, I saw uh, the, the board chair as the deputy to escort some people out uh, during the, yes. the public comment portion. So it set the scene for me. You are about to leave this meeting and you see all these people outside. Walk me through what's happening then. Yeah, so here's what happened. I, was, I actually left the meeting early. I left the meeting at 840. The meeting was still going on. It was very clear the direction the final vote was going. There were several amendments that did not pass along the way. Um, but it was clear that the main amendment to have masks mandated in elementary was going to pass. Uh, there were several doctors that were seated around me that had left one by one. And at 8 o'clock, I noticed a 
sheriff's deputy enter the room in a full, uh, metal, uh, full bulletproof vest on the outside of his shirt. And that was a sign to me that something was going wrong. We could hear the chanting from inside the room, from the, from the crowd outside. And at 8.40, one person left next to me and I followed her out the door at that point because I did not want to be there for a complete bedlam that I would anticipate once that vote actually passed. Mm -hmm. I, when I walked out, I said to the sheriff that was guarding the door, I said, I want an escort to my car. He said, there are officers waiting immediately outside the door. I said, thank you, sir. They escorted me to my vehicle, as you can see. They tried to get me around the crowd. Unfortunately, the crowd was located in a position between the, the, the exit door and my vehicle. They were not to the side or anything like that, so they, I had to get out of there. All I wanted to do was go home to my family and my kids. I'm a parent. I'm not a doctor. I work as a data analyst in the healthcare profession. I'm just a parent who wanted to have his say why masks were important for children, all children under the age of 12.